video we're going to look at how to add algebraic fractions. So here we've got an example, a divided by x plus w divided by y. To add algebraic fractions it's really important you've got the same denominator. So here you can see the denominator for the first fraction is x and the denominator for the second one is y. Now what I'm going to do is just have a look at a numerical one just so we can get the technique. So if I had 1 fifth plus 2 thirds to add those together, you need to get a common denominator. Now, an easy way to do that is to multiply the top and bottom of the first fraction by the denominator of the other one. So we times both of these by 3, you're going to get 3 fifteenths. And if we times both of these by the 5, we'd get, timesing both of these by 5, we'd get us 10 fifteenths. And as you can see, both denominators are the same. Then you can just add them to get 13 fifteenths. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to times both the top and the bottom by the numerator and denominator of the a over x by the y. So let's start, we're going to get ay over xy times them both by y. Now we're going to times both the top and bottom of the y or of the w over y by the x. So that'll be uh, wx over xy. Just making sure I was putting them in alphabetical order there. So we just times top and bottom of the first fraction by the y and top and bottom of the second fraction by the x. Now that we've got the same denominator, we can just add them together. Well, the denominator would be xy and the top line would be ay plus wx and that's it so we've made them have the same denominator we've added them together that's it in this example we're going to do 4x plus 1 over 2 plus x over 3 so we're going to times both the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by the 3 and the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by the 2 so if we do that, we'll get, well, timesing both of these by 3, well, I'm just going to put it in brackets, 3 bracket 4x plus 1, close brackets, all divided by 6. So I've times both of these by 3, okay, I haven't expanded my bracket, bracket yet, but I'll do that in a second, plus, and times in both of uh, the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by the 2 would give us 2x over 6. Now we've got a common denominator of 6, so we can put it all over 6. So we're going to get 3 bracket 4x plus 1 plus our 2x and it's all over 6. Now we just need to expand our brackets on the numerator and then simplify. So 3 times 4x is 12x and 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2x and that's all over 6. And it's simplifying our numerator 12x plus 2 is 14x. We've got our plus 3 and that's all divided by 6. And this can't be simplified, uh, so that's it. So that's our answer, 14x plus 3 over 6. Next, this time we've got 2 over x plus 1 plus 3 over 2x plus 3. So we need to make them have a common denominator. So we're going to times top and bottom of the first fraction by 2x plus 3. And we're going to times top and bottom of the second fraction by our x plus 1. So if we do that, and I'm just going to put them in brackets when I do that. So we're going to get 2 bracket 2x plus 3 close brackets, so that's the numerator of the first one, over, and whenever I times out my x plus 1 by my 2x plus 3, I'm just going to put them both in brackets, it's actually easier not to expand them, so just leave them in brackets like so, so we've got x plus 1, um, close brackets, 2x plus 3 on the denominator, plus, now we're going to times both top and bottom of the second fraction by x plus 1, so that's going to give me 3 bracket x plus 1, over and then the denominator again I can just put these beside each other in brackets so it's going to be x plus 1 bracket 2x plus 3 so as you can see they've now got the common denominator now what we need to do is just put them all over the single denominator of x plus 1 bracket 2x plus 3 and let's just write that down so we get 2 bracket 2x plus 3 close brackets and then we've got plus 3 bracket x plus 1. And if I expand that, it's just going to give me 2 times 2x is 4x, and 2 times 3 is plus 6, and then plus, and if we expand our second bracket, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 1 is plus 3. And that's all divided by x plus 1, 2x plus 3. And then if I just simplify the numerator, 4x plus 3x, well that's 7x, and our 6 plus 3, well that's equal to 9, and that's all over x plus 1, bracket 2x plus 3. Now our numerator can't be factorised, and we might as well just leave it like that, so we've added those fractions together. Okay, and finally, 
This time we've got 2 over x plus 1 minus 3 over x squared minus 1. So what I'm going to do here is just before I multiply both top and bottom, uh, both of the top and bottom of the fraction by the denominator there, I'm actually just going to factorise the denominator on the right hand fraction. So that's going to give me uh, 2 over x plus 1 minus 3 over, now notice this is the difference between two squares, so that would be bracket x plus 1 close brackets x minus 1. The reason I've done that is now I can see that all I need to do is times top and bottom of the first fraction by our x minus 1. That way my denominator for my first fraction will become x plus 1, x minus 1, so then they will have a common denominator. So let's do that, so let's times top and bottom of the first fraction by x minus 1. So that would give me 2 bracket x minus 1 close brackets over x plus 1 bracket x minus 1. And then my second fraction, well, that already had the common, uh, that has that as a denominator, so I can just leave it as 3 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just put it all over the same denominator, so that's x plus 1, x minus 1. And then the top line would be 2 bracket x minus 1. This time it's minus 3. So it's minus 3. And then I just need to expand the top line. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a minus 1, well, it's minus 2. Subtract 3. Right, just give that. Subtract 3. Over bracket x plus 1. x minus 1. And then the top line, well, minus 2. Subtract 3 is minus uh, 5. So it's going to be 2x minus 5 over x plus 1 x minus 1. That's it. So that's how you deal with adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. You just make sure they've got the same common denominator and then you uh, work it out.